Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India discussed about these uh, leadership uh, myths and uh, facts. In continuation of that, you will find about that is the how the leadership is to be shared. Now, in an organization, coming, uh, commencing as a simple band of men and women, associates and the management, work towards the development of a powerful team, all these aspects that is to be shared. So, we can form a team we can uh, classify whether it, it can be on the basis of the gender that is these uh, what will be the same um, band of the men and women in a particular team what who will be the associates set associates may be from the basis of their wisdom and expertise and like this these classifications can be taken now when we are, we are talking about the leadership uh, about the myth five is that is the exist only at the top of the organization Many people believe that is the leader means top management, but this is not fact. The, uh, the highly competitive market leaders needed at various levels. So, there are basically three levels, junior level, middle level and high level and at every level. Uh, I would like to share my experience that when I was the labor officer in the Okumchen mill uh, uh, and during that time uh, in the uh, uh, late 80s, uh, then at that time it, it has been uh, seen uh, that is it from 98 to uh, 90, uh, then it has been seen that is the, uh, the, the ship supervisor. He was supposed to be the best leader, I tell you, because whatever the process starts from the at the ground level, uh, if it is properly checked, quality is controlled, then there will be no complaint. So, if you want the quality leadership, then the quality leadership has to be checked at, at the initiating level. So, therefore, it becomes very, very important that is the leadership is not at the CEO level only, but rather than it should be right from the junior, middle and senior level executives. It will be uh, ringing its own death knell. So, therefore, it, it is very, very important that is the uh, everybody in the organization, they, they should contribute in the leadership uh, 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 to, to get work done. Necessity of leadership at the different levels is clearly apparent and when considering armed forces are there. So, therefore, in that case, uh, like if you are talking about the level 1, level 2, level 3 or level A, B, C, then every level there should be the clearly, uh, uh, it should be apparent and therefore, the persons, those who are working in the organizations, they know what is to be done how it is to be done, where it is to be done, when it is to be done. So, all questions are answered by the leader and as a result of which once the work is done, there are no complaints. Effective leadership at every level is a prerequisite to achieve a corporate vision. Now, the direction is very important, okay, fine, the leadership might be at the junior, middle and senior level, but the, the, the all the contributions at all levels where they should be directed, they should be directed towards the achievement of the corporate vision. Whatever the corporate vision is there, the distributed. Because if there is no coordination between the junior level and the middle level or middle level and senior level, then definitely it will becoming a big problem. However, it might be the effective work, but it may not be the efficient work. It might be an efficient work may not be the effective work because of lack of coordination. So, if you want a proper coordination between the efficiency and effectiveness, then it becomes very, very important that you are having this coordination uh, amongst the all the levels. Leaderships are the charismatic. Now, 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 charisma is very often confused as leadership is there, right. So, every charisma is not uh, necessarily to be a leadership, right. It is not necessarily that is the every leader has to be a charismatic leader because when we find that is the uh, employee look for where they can trust their leaders more than charisma. So, building the trust, leader should be trust builder. 
and if he is a trust builder then definitely in that in in that case he will be able to influence his followers every time you are expecting a charisma from the uh, leader uh, it, it will be impractical um, approach so if you want to do this particular uh, consideration then in this consideration to be an effective leadership uh, please uh, don't try to always to be charismatic leaders because normally it does not happen practically it does not work in fields which require technical and specialized skill it matters very little whether the leader is charismatic or not very simple example is for uh, operations management is there and in the operations management in technical and specialized skills are required and if you are able to do that follow those skills automatically you will get the output and product uh, cost effective but if uh, you are talking about the hrm motivation then definitely the role of the charismatic leaders that becomes more but in the case of the operations management it is more systematic work quality product itself will prove that there is an effective leadership is there organizations like bank investment house is not conducive to a completely charismatic leaders they go by the rules regulations and procedures a more quiet leading by example type of person would be better suited and therefore in that case by doing his own uh, the task that will make him the leader rather than creating any charisma at the workplace and becoming the leader is there myth seven is the good leadership is all common sense at face value this myth says one needs only common sense to be a good leader so therefore in that case uh, that is the uh, it, it is not uh, that is the uh, only that uh, uh, on common sense will uh, work need to act confidently of course but they also need to be humble enough to recognize that others views are useful too so therefore in that case uh, here we can also differentiate between the uh, authoritative or autocratic style of leadership a vis a vis that is the participative style of leadership is there and therefore it becomes very important that is we are always yes vision leader has to give the vision and but in creation of that vision in implementation of that vision in achievement of that vision he requires to get the recognition by the others views also so others views are also becoming very very important do leaders need to uh, perceive when things get tough yes but they also need to recognize when times change and a new direction is called for so uh, perceiver where the time uh, uh, always challenging time at a challenging time the perceiver is required yes that is required but they, they have to recognize also that is with the changing in time the leadership style is to be changed flexibility flexibility is very very important uh, and that is uh, uh, so that what happens that is the, the leader to achieve the corporate vision uh, he changes uh, his directions and by the different directions you can reach to the destination myth 8 is the only school you learn leadership from is the school of the hard knocks it is a mistake to so think of the formal study and learning from experience as mutually exclusive or the antagonistic in fact they complement each other so therefore don't think like this that that is the only experience makes a person the perfect leader or only a very highly qualified person a very high degree from a very highly reputed institute that will make a person a effective leader no it it it, it is it is the combination of both they require they they complement each other in the sense that is the they are able to uh, mutually mutually supporting to each other and when they support mutually support to each other uh, a person who is having the experience of the 10 years of experience uh, in his field and then also he has studied then there will be nothing like that and therefore in that case uh, that learned leadership with the practicing leadership that both will be making the uh, your leadership more effective approaching the issue in such a way recognize uh, the the vital role of experience in the leadership development but it also admits that certain kinds of study 
and the training can improve a person's ability to discern important lessons about leadership from the experiences there. So, therefore, in that case, the individual's ability that has to be supported by the person's experience is there. It can, in other words, accelerate the process of learning from experience. So, therefore, they, they are not the isolated compartments, right? Uh, so, they, they are the supporting uh, uh, compartments and in the supporting compartment means there is a bridge, bridge between the uh, compartment and what is the bridge is that is a learning with the experience and many times if we find uh, as the management education, uh, um, there were the initiation for these part time uh, MBAs and part time MBAs means that is the education of leadership, the, the, the pr practicing uh, uh, the employees they were in the evening, they were learning the leadership styles, understanding the leadership concepts and therefore, with their experience and their learning, they have become more effective. Please also, this myth is wrong, that is only the experience will become the effective leaders, only the learned from the top class uh, institutes, the learned uh, who have learned and trained into the leadership, they will become the effective leader, no, that, that has to be mutually De, uh, the uh, interdependent. Contrary to the popular belief, leadership is a rare skill. So, as I always mentioned, it is many people uh, feel that uh, they are different those who become leaders. No, contrary to the popular belief, leadership certainly is not a rare skill. Majority of us have inherent leadership qualities that come to fore when opportunity arises the, the crisis, celebration or when simple family decision need to be taken. Uh, I would like to give an example of a marriage. So, when the marriage uh, is uh, finalized and then you find that is there are the different uh, 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 the relatives, those who are performing different uh, functions, uh, responsibilities very efficiently and then you find that oh, the, these are the people, those who are the best in this particular task. So, therefore, it, it is the decision need to be taken to, to whom we are giving an opportunity to perform. Good leadership skills without management skills to support it will result in inability to operationalize the corporate vision. So, therefore, in that case, uh, the good leadership skills that is in, in, initiative, uh, then participative, delegation, decentralization and management skills when we are talking about that is the communication skills is there, job knowledge skills, technical skills, human skills, conceptual skills, analytical skills, designing skills. So, therefore, these are the management skills are there. So, these management skills are to be, pro, uh, to be supported, supported to the leadership skills are there. So, therefore, in that case, whenever we are talking about uh, uh, that uh, leadership is more, more uh, influential because it is supported by the manager skills is there. Myth 10 uh, is the extroverted leaders are preferred. Extro like, like you see in the personality, we talk about the introvert, extrovert, intuitive, sensing, thinking, feeling, perceiving and judging. So, extroverts are thought to be more outgoing and confident. Right, and the introverts are the considered shy and withdrawn. Extroverts work through the problems by discussing them and seeking the advice and input from the others. Are there? Introverts process their thoughts and conflicts internally. Because of these differences, it should not be surprising that extroverts are drawn to the leadership roles. Hmm? So, therefore, in that case, that, that is the it, it has to be seen that is the how these uh, uh, extroverts, those uh, who, who are uh, you know, becoming very popular and very interactive, and these uh, uh, therefore uh, they, they are becoming the, the spokespersons. And uh, there is a function uh, of uh, this uh, uh, manager is as a spokesperson, and uh, the extro extroverts people they become the spokespersons and they, they emerge the image as a leader. So, being a leader means engaging with other people, right? And therefore, please uh, uh, do not uh, take it this myth that is the only extrovert can be the leaders and the introverts cannot. Because introverts, they, they are uh, process their thoughts and conflicts internally, but they come out with the decisions very, very, very effectively. So, the reality is that not all extroverts are cut out to be the leaders. A lot of successful individuals such as the Warren Buffett, Barack Obama, 
but very common marissa mayer are introverts right and therefore in that case whenever we are talking about uh, uh, specially uh, that uh, this usa president uh, barack obama and when whenever we, when we are talking about that is the how their effective leadership uh, has worked in spite of that is the introvert so the reason is this that is the it is not just because you are the head of the departments or the comfortable in crowd does not mean that you should sell yourself short those who are even introvert they may, may they they come out with the new ideas and that ideas make them the leader successful leaders so you may still possess the right leadership skill to inspire others even though if you are the introvert is there because your decision making styles so this uh, why these introvert leaders that is the warren buffett and barack obama are the, they they have so much successful in their areas that is it, it is just because of their decision making styles and therefore introvert and therefore they are introverts so they analyze and their analysis that is making their strong uh, result oriented decisions are there so not necessarily that all extroverts they will become the effective leaders and the all introverts they will not become the leaders it it, it is the individuals the expertise whether he is ex extrovert or the introvert ultimately the results ultimately it is the uh, self analysis of the individual that will decide whether the person will be successful leader or not and it is about the results and not the people now now we have to combine I, i came to the previous myth leadership is not all about the results at the sacrifice of the people unfortunately we are disconnected what i want to say that is the many times we say people are important they, they many times we say technology is important process is important and many times we say that is the financial condition is important that makes the people leader so these are the different myths are there and ultimately what is the reality of fact fact is that is it is the interaction of all in that point we will cover now when we are disconnected from the feelings of ourselves and others uh, these insist doing leads to action that are not grounded and leaves us feeling disconnected and many times the people are disconnected from the reality disparated by the meaning and the belongingness is there in the short term high results may be achieved but they will be at the cost of long term gains this is also very very important at what cost you are achieving the your results so therefore it is not that is the when we say about the uh, the accomplishment of goal accomplishment of vision but at what cost you have achieved your goal at what cost you have achieved your vision that is becoming a very, uh, an important aspect so as you people will be less motivated discontented and they probably will be looking for the other jobs so therefore in, in if your uh, your people are not highly motivated and they are not having any concern not contented and be looking for the uh, uh, if they are uh, uh, searching for the an, uh, another jobs so therefore in that case it, it the the, uh, the vision will be achieved in long term so therefore in the short term high results may be achieved but they will they will be at the cost of the long term gains and that that care has to be taken management uh, uh, equals leadership in short management is about the oversight reacting and maintaining the status quo hmm? so many times uh, they are not taking the initiatives whereas leadership is about focusing on the bigger picture helping others to see this vision coaching building relationships and being willing to take risks so there is more momentum into the leadership is there a manager is a steward to get the needs to be accomplished done and maintain the processes however a leader goes beyond this they take you uh, some place you have never been before to uh, to a new vision and opportunity most people lean towards one or the other self awareness is important and not only of one's own skills but the needs of the team so in earlier also we have talked about this thing that is the it is very very important we are we are having the team members we are concerned with the team members and not only with the individuals is there so any leader if he thinks that is the on the basis of his own uh, performance he will uh, lead the organization um, then it, uh, i will say it is a myth 
unless and until he is not supported by the team members. Uh, related to this myth and uh, reality, now I would like to uh, discuss with you one case study and that is the Virgin Group is one of the largest companies in the world over the 30 countries. At the head of this huge organization is Richard Branson and Richardson uh, he built the organization from a small student magazine to the multi-billion dollar enterprise it is today. Right. So, always we find uh, that is the journey of the successful leaders, it, 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 it starts with the small steps. Uh, why I am sharing with you that is the, uh, yes you are the potential leader and when you want to implement the leadership, so you please start with the small step and you will reach to the big vision. So, Branson was suffering from the dyslexia in childhood, but was great at his uncanny neck for the uncovering lucrative business ideas and his true talents began to show in his late teens. He decided to start his own magazine named Student. It has differed from the most college newspapers or magazines. It focused on the students and their interests. Now you, now, you see when many magazines are there, uh, these magazines are talking about, uh, uh, the, about the students, but their title is not student and then it is not focusing much on the students rather than it is focusing on the different dimensions. But here, uh, uh, according to this case study, the Branson saw an opportunity for student to offer records that, that has been the cheaply by running the advertisements for the mail order delivery. He recruited the staff of the student for his discount music business. He built a small recording studio and signed his first artist and soon grand sale of the 5 million copies right, for the Mike Oldfield recorded the tubular bells and therefore uh, this way the journey has been started. Sometime later, Branson started other business like the airlines, hotels, finance etc. His approach was non-traditional. He keeps each enterprise small and relies on his skill of empowering people's ideas to fuel success. And that is why earlier we have talked about that is the, uh, it, it is the connect between the leader and team. And if there is a proper connect with the, uh, by the leaders with his uh, uh, team members, then definitely that is uh, uh, by empowering these team members uh, they, they, and uh, accepting their ideas that will lead you, your success. Once a flight attendant from Virgin Airlines approached him with her vision of a wedding business, Richard told her to go and do it. Brenz relies heavily on the creativity of his staff. He is more a supporter of the new ideas than a creator of them. So this is, a, this is also you see, uh, some people may have this feeling, uh, some people have uh, like uh, some of us, right? they may have this feeling that is they are not the good ideas creator no problem, but then you can connect with the good ideas creators and when, when you are connecting yourself with the good idea of connectors like here it is given, he is a more supporter of the new ideas than a creator of them, that will also do and that will make a successful history. In 1999, Richard Branson was awarded a knighthood in the Queen's Millennium New Year's Honours list for service to the entrepreneurship and uh, uh, here I would like to have the questions, right? And that is, uh, would you classify Richard Bres uh, Branson as a manager or a leader? What qualities distinguish him as one to the other? And identify the myths of leadership development that Richard Branson's success helps to disprove. And uh, you can think about it and then you, you can have you, your own uh, uh, the answers, right? And that uh, you can take it uh, uh, as your assignment also and then try to find out that is the how this uh, uh, that ideas uh, uh, collection, right? That can make a person a leader as compared to uh, 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 only to be a, a, a generator of the new ideas, right? So, many times the people uh, they do not want to come to the driving seat of leadership because they feel that is they are not the uh, good idea generators, right? But from this case study, uh, you will find that yes, there is a possibility um, by making a proper team. Okay. So, next I will discuss about this research paper, uh, how can leaders born or made? Right. So, therefore, in that case, uh, we, we have talked about uh, this myth. Right. So, uh, do you recall that what I have mentioned? 
yes and that is the it 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 is the not uh, only that what you, uh, if you are born so you will be successful leader but by learning and by experience the one can be a successful leaders and uh, the, the for this research paper the author is john f marcus general leadership and organizational development journal published in the 2010 right and uh, uh, the, uh, the purpose of this paper aims to review review the leader of the 21st century and uh, the occurring leaders um, um, based on information collected from 11 leadership thinkers and the practitioners right and uh, literature review and the author's workplace observations the article seeks to analyze some of the important experiences and skills uh, that make the um, occurring leaders to uh, so outstanding. Uh, in this uh, particular research, the methodology which has been used was conducted as a qualitative study of the phenomenological kind uh, and uh, enrich uh, with the literature review. Interviews were executed from a pre-validated interview protocol and the approach to the topic is definition of the uh, Aachen leadership, a review of the essence of the Aachen leadership, reasoning of the determination regarding this leader being born or made and perspectives towards uh, uh, that uh, this Aachen leadership is there. The findings of this particular uh, research paper is that is an interesting combination of qualities emerge for these uh, Aachen leaders varying from morals and values. Now, now, now you see that we we have to understand here uh, these uh, uh, creators of a successful leadership, and the first and foremost is that is the moral and values. The moral and values of the leaders, right? That is towards this to serve the society. Uh, that is, uh, if the moral and values of the uh, leader is uh, to earn for themselves then such type of business they have not become much sustainable. They might have reached the peak, but they will not become the successful. The ethics, integrity, honesty and trust is there, right? And these, the, these are the uh, dimensions, you know, uh, that, that, that has to be focused whenever you are talking about the becoming the leader. So, your integrity, integrity towards your job, your profession, your honesty and trust towards the your organization to kindness, forgiveness, courage, love and deep listening because with your team members this is becoming very very important that is the, you are having that particular kindness and forgiveness. If you are having that uh, uh, that approach uh, in your decision making or in interaction with your team members that is that kindness and forgiveness is there right and there will be certain suggestions by the team members. If you are having that courage hmm, to, to make these uh, uh, applications by these particular uh, uh, the suggestions made by the your team members, love and deep listening to them, then definitely in that case you will find that is yes, you are a collective leader. As an interesting end note, the article explains why practicing awkward leadership is easy and difficult at the same time and therefore in that case you will find that is the this particular study when you are talking about these different dimensions how it is making you one side successful other side challenging also. The study is reviewed although in depth applied to a small sample of leaders uh, which make generalization riskier because leadership is such a broad and dynamic topic literature review is never exhausted and definitely in that case you have to uh, you have to see even you see the old literature and there is then always you have to find out what is relative to you and uh, what can help you to become the successful leaders. Leaders may reconsider the skills required for themselves time to time because what is important is this that is the if uh, uh, you are referring the literature uh, if you are in the current dimensions consideration then de you you will be making them the uh, changes amendments as per the um, whatever the skills are required in a given situation and their workforce to guarantee successful performance hmm? and uh, naturally ultimately they are responsible organizational leaders are responsible to provide that guarantee successful performance in an increasingly interconnected world. So, therefore, wherever the business is uh, um, performed, that business has to be performed in a very, very um, uh, interactive way. 
leaders may engage in reflection and work towards the stronger emphasis and development of skills in which they consider themselves weak so therefore leaders are to be uh, considered to be very strong and then this development of their skills uh, they should uh, con uh, learn wherever they find that they are weak into their uh, uh, the certain uh, skill areas leaders may re examine their work environment now this is very important what is your work environment and consider how to minimize the factors that complicate the practice of the awkward leadership in their organization is there and therefore always uh, they have they have they are supposed to do the reviews and when they are making the reviews so that is comprising that, that is making uh, them more successful and less the complicate uh, complicate right so if you want to make a uh, that you your leadership style should not be get complicated uh, at the workplace you you re examine your uh, leadership styles re examine the work environment because your leadership style should match with the work environment and that's why the, you are supposed to carry on the books recommended here are the myths and reality right uh, that he, that uh, uh, here uh, uh, these details are given about this particular book um, which uh, you can uh, meet uh, leaders myth and reality right general stanley uh, so therefore my crystal uh, is uh, the author for this the another book uh, uh, which have been mentioned here is the the mythical leader uh, and uh, the the seven myths of leadership is there and on basis of this also uh, the authors is the uh, ron edmondson so therefore in that case uh, this is the another book about the seven myths of the leadership which you can uh, refer and for uh, uh, all these uh, uh, the literature which we we have how in, in, in interacting with you uh, are uh, the references and the online sources so at the end uh, i will say that is to be say, becoming a successful leader it is not the uh, just do not go by the myths rather than understand the facts and by understanding the facts you can develop a very effective team and effective leadership thank you